Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, April 18th, 2024. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES right now. Uh, previous session, we were looking for a potential outside day down, watching the previous session's high up here for a rejection and a push down. They just missed out on those previous highs, but pushed through lows here and falling into the previous month's low price here and year-to-date VWAP. And that's currently where we stand at the moment. Inside day, narrow range developing here. Just 27% of average range right now for this one. And for the most part, this one has been in a holding pattern ahead of pre-market data. Pre-market data has just come out right now. Initial jobless claims coming in at 212K versus a 215K estimate. A previous was 212 as well. You also have uh, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index at 15.5 versus a 1.5 uh, estimate. So uh, a couple of items coming out. We do have FOMC members speaking here in a little while and also existing home sales uh, after the RTH open. So right now still in a very clear downtrend for this market. Breaking down out of this narrow range, especially on this high range expansion day here and continuing to work lower. So we are in a bearish price discovery phase at the moment. And in a bearish price discovery phase, bears will look to defend into morning strength and look to defend previous sessions highs for a shot at new lows up ahead until you reach uh, a key level below or some sort of equal and opposite rejection down below. And at the moment right now, we're working our way down toward 5,000 and could be headed down to uh, our naked FOMC key level here at 49.13 half. So we're still working our way down. Any pullbacks could be an opportunity to sell until proven otherwise. Even a test at the previous session's highs could be a trap in reverse for a continuation down. So still looking weak at the moment, but inside day right now, very narrow range of price action, just 22 and a quarter points of range, 27% of average range right now with a downward bias. We take a look here at the NQ. The previous session we were also looking for an outside day for the NQ. Again you can see it just barely missed the high here for a trap in reverse. Got going to the downside. Ended up being a stop run day down and a very nice continuation. We've seen high range, low range, high range, low range develop here with this high range and then a low range holding pattern. High range and then a low range holding pattern here. Uh, but still a downward bias overall. The midpoint is going to be very important here this morning, already rejected. And you can see price has pushed through uh, not only the previous month's low, but also uh, year-to-date VWAP. And it's currently becoming resistance at the moment. So this thing is also working its way down in a price discovery phase toward the previous quarter's midpoint with a shot to continue downward. Uh, toward the 17200 level. 172 is going to be a key range low down there and you also have uh, a big time CLVN down there, low volume node right in this area that could continue to attack, attract price. So we're in a downward price discovery phase at the moment and bears looking to defend into uh, strength. Now uh, again even if we were to, to rally through the overnight highs today could still offer a trap opportunity for a continuation down until proven otherwise. Now taking a look here at crude oil, crude had a tremendous meltdown in the previous session. A big time 3% meltdown here for crude oil, a massive stop run day down and that took prices back below the 83 level. Now you're seeing uh, a gap down and kind of a um, an attempt to find a decent low. So 6 a.m. this thing put in a low. It's now testing intraday VWAP. Can this thing turn around and start becoming a bullish day that takes us back into the previous day's range? Can we get something like this here where we finish strong uh, or like this, something like this here after a big high range day we get a follow back day. Uh, we've been in a significant uptrending market Geopolitical events are such that this, this market will continue to likely rise in price. Uh, and we are also in a seasonal bullish pattern here.
that tends to see price of crude oil go higher into the June July time frame so uh, this big massive shakeout here could be a buying opportunity for a continuation up that takes us to that ninety dollar level or the ninety one half target that we've been talking about so uh, right now uh, decent pullback here we'll see if it can find its legs if so it could be a swing buying opportunity to take us higher within this channel now gold futures here up about a third of one percent right now this market remains very bullish again when we had the strong high develop here I mentioned that strong high likely halts price for a moment so that we can see a bit of a, a digestive phase a bit of a holding pattern here where it digests the recent move builds additional energy and then we see a, a, another continuation to the upside uh, not likely to see a strong pullback of any sort right now this market is in a full-on bull swing we are working toward the 2480 level 2480 is right here this level and that's a measured move uh, that takes us higher 400 points from the 2080 level it's also the 200 percent extension of that large key range from before 200 percent extension is 2480 as well so uh, that's the next upside short-term target up ahead for this market uh, but we could see a little bit more sideways before we see that continuation to the upside up ahead. Lastly, taking a look here at the YM. The YM developed a two-day narrow range in the previous session here. It's currently with, uh, it was also an inside day. We are now trading a double inside day with a super narrow range of 136 points. That's just 24% of average right now. So all of these markets, uh, from an equity standpoint, ES at 27% of ADR, NQ at 28%, and the YM here at 24%, those are very, very low uh, ranges heading into the RTH Open. Definitely a holding pattern right now for these markets. Uh, what we're looking for here is a continuation down and a breakout from this narrow range. Does it happen today? Does it happen in the days ahead? Uh, a breakout from this range has a potential of about 800 to 1,000 points of range. And even if we were to come up here and test the 38.3, 38.4 zone, it could still be a trap in reverse as this market looks to work its way down toward the 37.3 to 37.250 zone. So again, looking for a potential breakout from this range up ahead. Uh, right now, inside day and building energy for a potential breakout move. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this develops here heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.